What conspiracy theory do you believe 100%? Someone knows what happened to Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. I refuse to believe that nothing came up with modern technology, the huge search teams, and the time spent looking for its remain. I believe that the government probably makes some conspiracy theories to try to make questioning the government seem somewhat crazy. There is a conspiracy theory about the flat earth movement being just that. I wrote a complaint online about my pizza place about them cancelling my order without telling me. And the next order I got from them was ducked up. The pizza was way way undercooked. And not cut. And they didn't include the ranch that I always get with it. Also when I called to tell them about the duck up. The manager seemed unapologetic and also like he already knew what I was talking about before I called. My conspiracy is that they retaliated since I basically reported them to corporate through their website with my initial complaint. I got a free pizza on my account with them for this but decided just to not order from them anymore. Mediocre pizza anyway. The lines on the detergent caps are higher than they should be so you use more detergent for each load of laundry. It's so easy for them to get away with it. I don't necessarily believe this. But I've always speculated that a lot of priceless artwork and historical documents are actually replicas or copies. Obviously a painting by a world famous artist using a very specific technique would be very hard to fake. And I don't think that every art scholar in the world is paid off in some grand conspiracy. Rather. I just think that either the national treasures never left their vaults or that some national treasures actually were lost to history but they were copied. If the copy is good enough. Old enough. And all we've ever known. Does it become a treasure in its own right? I believe in the mattress store conspiracy. So the conspiracy is that mattress stores are for money laundering. I went on to Google Maps and typed in mattress stores near me. There were 4 mattress stores in the same shopping center. There was a road that had 5 mattress stores less than a mile apart. So I definitely believe in it. Can confirm. There are two mattress firms at opposite ends of a small street. Also. Do you ever see anyone at a mattress store? No the parking lot is always. Always empty. Edit. Oh my lord I just joined this reddit yesterday and this smashed my last highest post. Thank you all so much. The Hawaii nuke false alarm last year was actually the US government testing to see how the, the general population would react if an actual nuclear war broke out. The countdown timers on ads for games or streaming services are actually longer than seconds. Seems too long sometimes. Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 wasn't an accident. There were definitely external forces that catalyzed its disappearance. The flight path was diverted many times and there was a lot of shady stuff about some of the passengers and the pilot of Flight 370. We may never know unless the plane is found. I've heard this before. But curious on what your thoughts are as to what may have happened to the plane and its passengers. Restaurant owners know how awkward it is to be sung to in front of the whole establishment. And they do it to discourage people from taking advantage of their free birthday food. Disney made Zootopia partly to replace the song of the South characters from Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain is really the only thing that still exists in the public eye from Song of the South, along with the song Zippa Dee Doo Since Disney wants to pretend that movie doesn't exist. So they created a movie featuring Fox and Rabbit characters that could replace Bruh Fox and Bruh Rabbit and retheme the entire ride to be Zootopia themed. While leaving some things, like the name, and the songs featured in the ride, from Song in the South. There's also that Disney loves retheming things to their IP now, getting rid of Maelstrom and bringing in a Frozen themed ride. So it would make sense for them to retheme a ride to a successful recent movie than keep a ride based off an old, mildly racist movie they are trying to forget. I could believe this but Splash Mountain is so ridiculously popular that fans would riot if they tried re-theming it. I do like the part about the new fox and bunny though. The Bandersnatch Black Mirror Netflix special collected watchers data to better green light productions that were more in line with users taste. Now that you pointed out. Isn't every movie on Netflix providing user preference data? That Apple started the AirPods meme. 
and right before Christmas they would give out $150 gift cards. Edit, wow. Didn't expect this to blow up. Thank you. I fully believe companies are using memes as a marketing technique. All it needs is one big post on a couple subs here and it's all over the internet hitting their target audience in our days. Confirm this as fact, a marketer. Imgur and similar have built a business mode out of it as has Duck Jerry and IG pages like Dakon. That there is a huge pedophile ring in Hollywood. Anyone who tries to expose them die shortly after coincidentally. Edit, thanks for the silvers. All the UFO sightings throughout history are just humans from the future on a time traveling safari meant to observe how we were in the past. They are supposed to keep out of sight. But thanks to human mechanical errors there have been hiccups with their cloaking which have resulted in being seen. That's why there have always been so many reports of them throughout history. But there has never been an attack. It's just us. Also the reason why we don't see many as many examples of UFOs now even through pretty much everyone has a camera is because people are not that interested in this time period since we already document aspects of human life all the time. 23andMe is run by the government to collect your DNA and database it for later. Doesn't even matter if it's government owned. Many already just give the government access to their records. Perfectly legal to do so because part of the agreement you sign to have yourself tested is that they are free to do whatever they want with your DNA data. If your DNA leads them to a cure of a disease. They reserve all rights. If they want to share with the government. They reserve all rights. The news report about beards containing more bacteria than a dog that just licked his own asshole. Beards are messing with facial recognition software. The man wants beards to not be trendy anymore. That article was also based on a sample size of 18 and lacked practically every kind of scientific rigor. Michael Jordan's father was murdered in retribution for Jordan not paying off massive gambling debt. Jordan didn't retire and then come back. He was suspended for gambling. In the mid 90s. Michael Jordan was an industry. The truth about his gambling habits may have cost a lot of people a lot of money. So the cover story was presented. Edit, I admit the part about his father's murder is a bit of a stretch. But this is a thread about conspiracy theories after all. As for the suspension. I stand by that 100%. I heard radio coordinates commercials breaks to all take place simultaneously so you're forced to listen to ads even you change the station. They're practically a monopoly in my area and I notice it happens to me all the time. I keep ink pens from every year dating back to 2008 in my desk so that if I need to forge and backdate an important document I can sign it with ink that matches the year I'm backdating. Yes feds do check ink in fraud investigations not really a conspiracy but might answer a few questions. You don't need one of each year. Just use a pen from 2008 and it could feasibly have been used any date after that. You've just ruined their life. I have a theory that Tinder gives fake you got a new match notification so people get excited and opens Tinder. Which leads them to swipe more. Source, myself. That's not a theory that just straight up happens dog. That Disney made a movie named Frozen so that when people google things like Frozen and Disney together. Info about the movie comes up instead of stories about Walt Disney's frozen head. If Walt's head had been frozen. What reason would they have to hide it? I just think they don't like the story. Not sure I actually believe they froze the guy's head but I think they don't really want their fans to hear the stories as much. Area 51 is not a place for secret government military testing with aliens and stuff. Instead Area 51 is a scapegoat while shady behind the scenes stuff is going on at another military base that the general public doesn't know about. I mean if you were really going to do something in secrecy. Would you do it in the place where everyone thinks it is? Hell no. I don't have any specific evidence to back this up but it makes sense right? Yeah. All the real weird it goes on at Area 52. All my devices listen in on me. The other day I was arguing with my dad about some chicken I thought had gone off. It was frozen for about a month so we weren't too sure but my dad was insistent that it was still edible. Dad decided to ask Google. 
and lo and behold the related searches even from the first letter were, is chicken edible after being frozen for a month and how long can you freeze chicken before it goes off? Also, my mum and I use this tactic where if we need to ring up a company about something and it puts us in a queue, we swear at it. It then puts you on a priority list and you don't have to wait as long. Kinda sketchy on the company's behalf. Modern drug prohibition is a for-profit endeavor perpetrated by governments for the benefit of pharmaceutical corporations, prison industrials, and warlords. It was first used to imprison political opponents. But the lobbying to keep it illegal for so long after the 80s and 90s absolutely was done by not just pharmaceutical companies, but alcohol industry as well. I used to tell people that I believed the government listened to your phone calls. Years later some guy named Snowden proved me right. I hope the NSA knows that Jennifer was a ducking cunt. Government feeding crack cocaine into black communities. When Ted Kaczynski, the Unabomber, was at Harvard. He participated in a brutal psychological experiment led by Professor Henry Murray. The experiment lasted for three years and by many accounts they seemed to have an extreme impact on Kaczynski's psyche. I think this experiment was part of the CIA's MK Ultra project and destabilized Kaczynski enough to where he eventually went on his reign of terror of sending bombed packages around the country. During the MK Ultra project, the CIA collaborated with university professors on these mind control experiments but a lot of the documentation was destroyed when people started to look into it. TL, DR, the Unabomber participated in an experiment that was a part of the MK Ultra project that eventually led to him becoming a mass murderer. JFK. There was definitely something shady going on there. People badmouth JFK. But honestly. I think it's a decent airport.